Well, that is beautiful, guys. Beautiful from the factory, beautiful stock. And that was part of the trio of the Formula D Sylvia's that they released. Cool car. I didn't know much about the history of this car, but basically it's it's based on um, Daj Dajiro Yoshihara, who was basically a veteran in motorsports of drifting. So um, I think that was the car that he drove. And uh, yeah, it's basically took off from there. And the interesting thing is that the, the word Sylvia actually means a scientific genus for a type of a class of birds. Kind of interesting stuff. But yeah, I just like that rock star stuff, man. It looks all right. I like the black and the yellow color scheme. Totally looks amazing, guys. And that's one of the beautiful ones out of the factory. Super copper mix. Decaled. Sylvia body shell, but this wasn't the Formula D one. I think it was classed as the Nismo Sylvia R Tune Proto. So they did this in this version and in a white one with a bit of a decal on the bonnet and on the sides. But this I thought would look pretty cool as a drifting car. But the only thing is now looking at the Rockstar version and looking at the Hankook version, you know. Don't get me wrong, it still looks pretty cool, but it needs that jacked up spoiler, man. That makes all the difference. But nonetheless, pretty cool body shell. And them alloy wheels do bring out the car a little bit. That has got the spoiler. Maybe I should take the spoiler of that one and stick it on this other one. <laughs> So that was like a drifting machine that they brought out. And I didn't have an orange car, and I thought that looks kind of street, so yep, yeah, let me do that one. And that's where I went for that one. So I don't know if you've seen them ones before, guys. I thought I'd just show it to you because we're doing the Sylvias. So I just see the other Sylvias that are in the range as well. And my apologies guys, I've got no control over the rain. <laughs> and the rain is coming down. Right, let's move on. As every so often you come across a shell and you think, wow, that is totally amazing. And this is one of them shells. It just kind of like took my breath away. I just love the detail on this. I like the wheels. The wheels look awesome. All wheel drive are a bit dry for good wheels. I like the way the back spoiler's totally jacked up, guys. And I don't get Hankook. It's supposed to be Hancock, but I like two tone. Wow. And the way it kind of like floats into it diagonally. Love it. And I do like the decals on the roof as well. Um, they've got it right. Really have got it right with this one. Um, I do like it, guys. And that's one of them cars. It could just stay on that stand all day and I can just watch it go around all day. Well, perfection, man. That definitely get, my list is probably not the top five, not it's gonna be top six. And even though I'm not a massive fan, guys, of the Sylvia body shell, um, they seem to have some funky ones that appear to be like drifting kind of cars with some cool decal. So here we've got the Formula D Falcon, Toyota Sprinter, Turuna, AE86. And this has got the 90mm wheelbase, it's an RM rear motor mount as well. Uh, it's funky though, Falcon, their colour schemes are kind of funky man. They do that on a Porsche as well, in Mini Z's, but I've never come across the Porsche, I've never seen it come up for sale. So Falcon are basically a tyre corporation, and uh, the, Jan the Japanese manufacturer of automobiles, automobile tyres. So I thought it was an American company. But it's not. It was introduced into North America uh, around 1983. Well, so they, this tire corporation, they involved in a lot in the Mans, British Drift, Drift Championships, 
Formula Drift, Drift Series, Formula D International Drift Series. Well, the list is endless, man. They've got their finger in a lot of pies. Okay, guys. So even though this was a separate drift chassis that I managed to get, um, and this is a different Subaru shell. Didn't come together, but I kind of like placed it. The wheelbase, wheelbase just fit fantastically, and uh, it just like it looks like it was made for it. Really, wow. You know, I've even managed to fit the um, mounting uh, plate onto the actual chassis, but it looks really amazing, man. I actually like that. That's a really cool look. And yeah, like I'm saying, this is it's got alloy wheels in it. And I like the way the back wheels just stick out of the rear arches. Proper cool look. And the wheels have got the decals on them, which you don't really see many having. Um, it's got a real nice drift look. I don't know why, it just, wow. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that looks fantastic, man. It looks phenomenal. Okay, and here we've got the Mazda RX-7. And this is completely kitted out as a Mini Z advertising machine. So, nice little wheels. It seems to have drift wheels on it. I won't really know until I take it off and have a look. But um, I think it's a nice little colour scheme that they've got going on there with this black and greyish kind of colour. So, yeah, it's pretty unique. I don't think it comes under the rare ones, but it is a rare little machine. Um, even though it's not officially rare, it's pretty hard to get hold of. I had to get that from Europe. In Japan, they were just too high. I mean, the pricing would just have gone crazy for it. So, yeah, nice little machine. <laughs> What's his dog barking for outside? Okay, right. So, yeah, little beauty there, guys, a little gem. Um, nice little addition to the fleet there. And here we have the Nissan Skyliner. This is the GTR. I think this is R35 and this is proper decaled out and also has the drift wheels on it which I don't have any in black so that was pretty cool has the drifting stickers on the wheels as well which are really made for the Formula 1 tyres but people have managed to get one of these drift tyres as well how long they stay on there <laughs> I don't know but they do look kind of awesome so that's another funky car that I will be using in my vids as well, guys. In my drag race vids, street race vids, uh, street police cars. Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we've got the Mazda RX-7. And again, this has definitely got that drifting look to it. And this has become seriously rare, guys. Really hard to get hold of. Held this value. I mean, these are hitting over £100 easily. So, this one kind of hasn't had the decals caked on. It's quite a simple car for a drifting car. Which probably adds to the charm anyway. And you can just tell by them spoilers, man. That's a drifting car all the way. But nice. The RX-7 has kind of grown on me guys, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of it before, I felt it was just like a, you know, a bit of a squared out Sylvia, but it definitely has its own charm. And when you've got the lights kit fitted to it, it kind of looks amazing as well. And this particular drift version just looks really cool man, really cool. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Should I decal it out guys, I've got some really cool Rockstar decals. Um, because some of my cars that I've got that are black, I'm going to definitely decal. I've got yellow and black Rockstar um, decals, red and black, and a mix of different colours as well. And then loads of, I should just do it as a drifting car, put loads of little stickers all over it. I'll just leave it as it is. I don't know. You guys let me know. Or what I might do is keep that as it is. I've got an R32 shell, which is uh, not very pretty. It's just, is it a flat grey, a dark grey or a matte black, I don't know, it's one of them anyway it comes um, as a ready to run version and it's really bland really bland, so maybe what I'll do is I'll keep this as it is 
Um, and kit out of that one, put loads of decals on it, because it is really bland. I think yeah, I think I, I think that's probably a better way to go, guys. To actually bring out the shells that are flat and dead, make them look vibrant. Okay, guys, and this is the uh, all-wheel drive Kyosha that I got as a set. And this is the uh, Mazda Savannah RX-7. And you know what, after looking at the Formula D ones, I think that's just crying out for decals. <laughs> and I bought stickers, I don't know if you noticed, in one of the videos before, I showed you some of the stickers I got. Because I had planned on doing my own little mods. And I've noticed that people in Japan do that. They basically get their own stickers. And because they're big into anime, and they put them onto body shells, and they sell them off. Uh, on it on eBay as custom mini Z's so I was thinking yep I am gonna do that but I don't know about selling it off but at least I like I like unique stuff and I like my cars look a little bit unique as well so I was thinking hmm I think I'm gonna do that and some of these cars that are a bit bland I'm just gonna soup them up a little bit make them look a little bit more cool especially for drifting